Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll hop on and discuss why I prefer buying luxury SLGs instead of luxury bags. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Fossil Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So this video was inspired by the fact that many luxury YouTubers will give you the advice that uh, instead of buying luxury SLGs, you should just save that money and then you can put it towards a luxury handbag. Uh, the idea there is that instead of buying, you know, like three card holders, if you just save the money, you could end up buying a nice, you know, YSL tote or something. I actually disagree with this advice. As you can see here, I actually kind of invest more in luxury SLGs and the only luxury handbag I have is a vintage bag that I got for like $140. So I actually prefer to buy luxury SLGs instead of luxury bags, and so I'm going to tell you why. Uh, the first reason is the lower price point. So I have my three luxury SLGs here. Um, the first one that I have ever purchased was my Gucci wallet, which I purchased in October of 2017 for $400 plus tax, so it ended up being $440. The second is my Goyard 6 key holder. I purchased this on Poshmark in August of 2019 for $352, and I think that does include tax. Um, you know, it's just a 6 key holder. And the final one, and my most recent luxury SLG purchase, is my Gucci uh, key pouch, which I purchased in February 2020 from the Gucci outlet uh, for $263, and that includes tax. Um, so compare those prices to that of a luxury handbag, which most luxury handbags nowadays start at $1,500, but usually go up to the, you know, multiple thousands of dollars. Uh, for me, that number, you know, multiple thousands of dollars is just too much money to spend on a handbag. That is a rent payment. That is a mortgage payment. The reason that I prefer to stay in this lower price point is because it is a slippery slope. I don't ever really want to feel comfortable spending that much money on a bag. And I think that once you make that first purchase and buy that first expensive handbag, it becomes a lot easier to justify buying handbags in that price range, you know, more and more handbags. And I have actually experienced this myself on a much smaller scale. I purchased my Coach Mini Bennett Satchel back in December of 2017 for almost $100. That was the most I'd ever spent on a bag, and it made me feel very silly, honestly, to spend that much money on a bag. But it really opened the floodgates because now I routinely catch myself looking at $200, $300 bags and being like, wow, that's a great deal. When, you know, just a couple years ago, I would have thought that that was an insane amount of money. So I don't ever want to feel comfortable spending that amount of money on anything that's not kind of a necessity. Uh, and the second reason that I don't want to invest in luxury handbags is because I don't think that uh, one bag could work for all occasions. And if I spent that much money on a bag, if I spent, you know, $1,500, $2,000, even $4,000 on a handbag, I would feel like I have to use it literally all the time. But like I said, no bag can be everything. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, um, in my opinion, the types of bags that I take when I am driving around, running errands, going to the mall, going to be in a car are very different from the kinds of bags that I want to take with me when I'm like walking around downtown or in a city. Uh, so, you know, when I'm walking around, I want something like my Fossil Kinley, where there's a lot of exterior pockets. It's really easy to uh, kind of find everything when my hands are full, like I said, when I'm out and about. And it, you know, is very comfortable to wear crossbody because it has a thick strap. Compare that to my Coach Kelsey, which is the bag I prefer to take when I'm, like, driving around because it is easy to take on and off my shoulder because it has, you know, pretty long shoulder straps. Uh, and it's just basically one endless pit because when I'm running errands, I like to just throw everything that I buy into this bag. These two bags, like for me, are very, very different use cases. Um, and so if I bought a luxury bag, I would feel like I want to use that luxury bag 100% of the time. Um, and I don't think any one bag can be perfect 100% of the time. And even if you're not that picky about like how you use your bags and stuff like that, uh, I do think that there are situations where certain bags are just not appropriate. For example, um, if it's raining, I would never take out my Michael Kors Vivian because I'm afraid that it would damage the leather. Uh, and so if I was buying a luxury handbag, I would feel like I need to like watch the weather and make sure that it's the appropriate bag for the weather. And that leads me to my third point of um, you know why I wouldn't want to buy a luxury bag, and that's because... You know, if I got a luxury handbag, I would want it to feel luxury. And my bar is extremely high because I have some nice bags. 
you know, this Michael Kors Vivian is very beautiful. My coach Jess Crossbody is very beautiful. They both have this like beautiful quilting with this very soft leather. Um, so I, you know, it would, it would be a pretty high bar for a luxury handbag, in my opinion, to be worth the price. You know, I can think of maybe a handful of bags that seem like they maybe would fit the bill. Like, you know, the Fendi Lambskin Peekaboo, the, the leather would probably feel very luxurious. Uh, some of the Salvatore Ferragamo bags with some beautiful quilting would probably feel very nice. But essentially, you know, I'd be looking for like a soft luxury leather. And that's because, you know, if I'm going to get some other material, something that's more durable, something that maybe would be able to be used like in the rain or in situations where I feel like my bag might get, you know, a little roughed up, then I would rather just get that kind of bag from Coach or from a brand that sells like coated canvas or Safiano leather, things that are much more durable. You know, for example, I really like this Coach tote. I think it's very durable. I think it's hard wearing. I don't see why I would pay any extra to buy something very, very similar from somewhere like Louis Vuitton. But you know, what that means is that if I were to buy a luxury handbag, I would choose it in a material that is more delicate, which of course makes it less uh, usable in all situations. Uh, and that kind of leads me to my next reason for why I prefer luxury SLGs to luxury handbags, and that's because uh, SLGs go inside your bag, so they're protected. Uh, I can get this luxury material, this like very nice, smoother leather that feels very nice to hold, feels very nice to the touch, feels like it is worth the money, and then I can put that in my bag so that it's protected from the elements. If it rains, you know, you when you use a bag, you set it down at restaurants. The corners get scuffed. It's, you know, like I said, exposed to the elements. Now, of course, you know, SLGs do take a beating if you use them every day, but I still think that, you know, if you, you know, you have much more control, I guess, over how they wear because you can be more gentle. If you're going to open your card case, you can be more gentle with how it opens versus, you know, with a bag, you might just get caught in a freak storm and then you have no control over that. Finally, uh, the last reason that I prefer luxury SLGs to luxury handbags is because I can hide my luxury SLGs if I feel like the situation is not appropriate for a luxury item. You know, I would never wear a luxury bag to the office. I would never buy like a, a Louis Vuitton Neverfull and use that as my work bag because that's not the culture of the firm that I work for. I would be very worried that it would affect people's perceptions of me. And in my opinion, you know, people's perceptions are very important for things like career advancement and the bonuses that you get. So I would never take that kind of gamble with my career just for some, you know, luxury bag. But what that means is that I wouldn't use a luxury handbag for, you know, at least 70% of my week because I spend most of my days at the office in, you know, normal non-pandemic times. I can't use a luxury handbag or don't feel comfortable using a luxury handbag for a majority of my time. Whereas something like, you know, a luxury wallet, unless I'm going out to lunch with people, you know, it's never going to come out. People are never going to see it. And I can use it every single day to hold my cards and hold all of my necessities. And you know, there's also other situations, even if you are comfortable wearing luxury to your office, where luxury, you know, logos and stuff are not either appropriate or, you know, will potentially, you know, cause negative consequences for you. Think about if you're, you know, bargaining for a price of a car and you're carrying, you know, a luxury bag. Does that affect people's perception of you? You know, and then of course there's the common safety issue of if you're walking through a bad part of town or suddenly you find yourself having to come home later than usual, do you really want to be wearing logos on the exterior of your person instead of just having, you know, a nice, beautiful, smooth leather wallet <laughs> just hidden inside your bag for, you know, your own safety? So those are obviously just my opinions, uh, but I thought I'd put that out there because I do think it's very common for luxury YouTubers, like I said, to say that buying luxury SLGs is a waste of money, and I just disagree. Uh, I, I think my luxury SLGs bring me a lot of happiness. I think they're cute. I think they, they're nice to hold. You know, when you're out and about, you hold your wallet a lot. You hold your car keys a lot. So in that sense, I do get a little bit of joy from my luxury SLGs that I don't feel like I would have gotten from a luxury bag. Uh, that's basically it. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I will see you next time. Bye!